Hello, my name is Manuel Blechschmidt. I'm a German IT system engineer uh, and I ran for the last few weeks different forecast models for COVID-19 on uh, public available data. Um, and in this video, I want to show my simulation for America. So what you can currently see, you can see uh, a map of America with all kinds of dots. These dots represent counties and uh, the size of the dots uh, represent the confirmed cases of uh, COVID-19, uh, of the COVID-19 disease. As you can see, New York is a hotspot and also Los Angeles is a hotspot. Uh, what I did now is um, I used an S. Uh, IR model, which was um, invented by uh, Richard, Professor Richard Nela in Basel, um, and I filled this um, SIR model with data. And this SIR model, it's mainly meant for uh, predicting the ICU capacity that will be needed for all intensive care patients uh, that will be infected uh, by uh, the corona, new coronavirus, and which will need a ventilator uh, or some other. A metal to medical equipment to survive. You can see the red line here. So the red line is uh, the expected patients in ICU and uh, currently the simulation is run with strong mitigation which means that uh, everybody stays home, that people uh, are not going to school, that they uh, uh, only go once a week to the supermarket and they use different kinds of mitigation strategies to make sure that they have a social distance and don't uh, get into contact with other people. Um, I used uh, this data for the ICU beds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to predict uh, when certain hospitals will be full uh, in America. And I used uh, this uh, the data from the United States Census Bureau uh, for having um, the inhabitants of a certain county. So what you can see now is you can see a map from the United States. And what you can't see is there are lots of, of, of green dots on the map. And these green dots, they represent um, the people who need intensive care. And, and these green dots, they will grow. And uh, when the hospital capacity is over capacity, they will turn into red. And what we will do now is we will run the simulation and then the dots will grow. And now uh, you can already see here in New York, the dot it already um, went from green to red, and the the hospitals in New York they they are already over capacity. So the, so the model currently predicts that this will happen in a week on the seventh uh, April. But this is already the case. So by far uh, now this is already the case uh, in New York. All the hospitals are over capacity. You can see that in other parts of the country, like in Florida or in California, uh, in the Bay Area in San Francisco, it's not that bad yet. Or let's if we do zoom in here in Chicago uh, or Detroit, it's still okay, so they still have enough capacity. But now let's zoom out again and let's uh, continue with the simulation. So now uh, co co the coronavirus, it spreads. You can see that all the dots grow. You can see that it spreads in the whole country and now you can see what hap what's happening. So in all kinds of areas, like here in uh, Louisiana or uh, here in, in, in Georgia, here in, in Idaho, in, in Utah, so the first uh, counties in Colorado, they, they begin to, to be full. And this is all under the assumption that you really have strong mitigation measures, that you do the same like other countries are doing, stay home, don't meet people, really make sure that you wash your hands often. So let's go on. We are now in the middle of April and you can see that it, it gets worse. So it gets a lot worse and uh, you can see that uh, hospitals are going to be over capacity nearly everywhere. And this is uh, now the end of April. So this is what, what currently the model predicts based on strong mitigation and the current data that I have, what will happen in the next month. Uh, and this is also the reason why the president expects so many dead people. Uh, normally, if you get uh, COVID-19, you will survive it. But if you don't, if you need um, intensive care and you don't have intensive care, it's very likely that you will die. For example, here in, in America, let's um, enable uh, the whole people who need intensive care. So now if I hover over this point, you can see that currently uh, 6,733 intensive care beds are required, but only 108 are available. So uh, the capital you need for, for, for 60 people who need an intensive care bed, you only have one bed. Um, and and that's, that's really, really bad. So uh, I don't know if, if, if it's still possible to do something against that, but if you see that, stay home, try to don't get infected by COVID-19 um, and make sure that the spread uh, gets stopped. 
thanks a lot and I will try to uh, make further simulations for uh, other countries. Bye-bye.